Are you looking for a Class C RV that has lots of interior space? Well, check out these Class C RVs with Murphy beds. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at some awesome Class C RVs with Murphy beds. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we also have our website called rvblogger.com and our private Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies. And we invite you to join in and have fun with the whole gang. But without any further ado, let's take a look at Class C RVs with Murphy beds. This Class C RV is the Coachman Freelander model number 22XG. It measures in at 24 feet, three inches long, has a tow capacity of 5,000 pounds, and it can sleep up to six people. When you first walk into this RV, you'll notice that the driver's cab and the over cab are located up front. As we swing on around, you'll find the dinette and then the kitchen area. And finally, towards the back of this RV is the bathroom and the bedroom. So here I am at the front of this motorhome, standing right behind the driver's cab. There's a couple nice features here to notice. First of all, there's an over cab up here that's very large and spacious, and it goes the whole entire width of the coach. So it's a good eight feet wide, and it is, boy, 60 inches deep. So really a lot of space up top and overhead. We have the same amount of space in our Class C RV that we own, and we had to get specially made sheets to fit on the upper bunk, and you'll probably have to do the same. Uh, there's also a nice big swing arm up here with a TV that can swing out. So you can either lay in bed in the upper bunk and watch TV, or you can swing it out and watch TV from your dinette seats. The other really nice feature that you'll find in here is that the dinette does not fully extend behind the driver's seat. And this is so that you can back the driver's seat up to its fullest capacity so that those of us that have longer legs or are taller, you can drive much more comfortably. Now here I am at the dinette section, and when you first look at it, you think it's kind of an L-shaped dinette, and it is, but it has this little part here that slides out. There is a cushion that you would place here, and then you can have seating on all three sides of your dinette table. The other nice thing about this is uh, that you can put it away when you need it and pull it out when you don't. I said that backwards. Some other really nice features about this dinette are that you have two huge storage cabinets up above. Then you have a really nice big window over the dinette and the window does open so you can get some nice fresh air in here. Hey, the lights kicked on. <laughs> and uh, also there is storage down below this dinette bench that you can access through this drawer right here. The kitchen area is very, very nice. Starting up top here, there's a super large cabinet with tons of storage in there. Then another cabinet with storage above where your microwave sits. Down below your microwave, you have a three burner range. And then you have a nice big drawer for pots and pans and another smaller drawer below that. Also there's storage underneath of the kitchen sink. And speaking of the kitchen sink, it's a nice big wide single bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet overhead. And it's got a little bit of countertop space around it. I like the raised two level countertop. It makes it look more luxurious in here for sure. You also also have a tower of power here at the end of your countertop. So if you wanted to plug in a coffee pot or a toaster, you can go right ahead and do that. And there's also storage underneath of this section of the countertop with these drawers where you can store all of your kitchen utensils. Now, just behind the dinette and across from where the range is located, you'll find the refrigerator. This is a really great size refrigerator. Very, very large inside, plenty of storage space, a great big freezer, and it's a 12 volt refrigerator, so it'll run on battery or shore power. Now, as we move back towards the bedroom, you'll notice that there's this very large wardrobe cabinet in here where you can hang all your garments, and then there's another deep drawer below that for more storage too. So finally, here we are at the bed in the back. Now, this is a really cool layout because you can already see it's got a big back door. So this area has a Murphy bed in it. So we can pull the bed up, which I'll show you in just a minute, but let's get a measurement on it first. This bed happens to measure in at about 78 inches. And 
it is 60 inches across so it's just a couple inches short of a residential queen sized bed now in this area you can like i mentioned raise the bed up and it's called a murphy bed so you just pop it on up it'll latch into place and then this whole area becomes storage while you're rolling down the road now, one other feature that you'll notice back here is that there are four D-rings on the floor back here. So I don't know that you could get like a motorcycle and stuff like that up here, but you can certainly throw your bikes up here, maybe a kayak, I don't know, all kinds of other stuff, and you can tie things down with the D-rings. A couple other nice features are that there is a drawer located down here underneath where the bed would be. It's kind of a hidden away drawer. Also, your TV location is here. So your rough-ins are all provided while you're laying in bed at night. You have a great view of the TV and you have this massive storage cabinet just above your bed for even more storage. And finally, you have a receptacle and USB ports and a 12 volt uh, wire also. So you can charge all of your accessories at night before you go to bed. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm standing in the shower like I usually am. And I think this bathroom just pops. I mean, it's this black and white, very clean, modern finish. It just looks really nice in here, very upscale feeling. Now, as you guys know, I'm 5'11 and into this skylight, there is a lot of room. Let's see how much headroom we have. Wow, we have six feet, almost 10 inches of headroom in here. So for you taller folks, this might be a really good choice for you. Now inside here, like I mentioned, the surround is gorgeous. There's also this soap and shampoo holder on the wall and it has of course a removable wand. In addition to that, it has a shower curtain but it's on a track which swings out and away from the shower. So it's just a fantastic setup. Now just outside the shower, we have a mirror and a vanity uh, top down below with a sink. And then below that we have additional storage. And then above the commode here, there's also another corner cabinet with lots of storage in there. Now this bathroom feels pretty roomy, but with the door closed, I will not be able to pass the elbow test on this side, but on the other side, I will do just fine. This Class C motorhome is the Jayco Red Hawk model number 26M. It measures in at 28 feet, 8 inches long. It has a big tow capacity of 7,500 pounds and it can sleep up to five people. When you first walk into this motorhome on the right hand side, you have the driver's cab and the overcab sleeping area. Then it wraps around into the dinette and kitchen area. Finally, we end up in the bedroom and living area and behind me here is the bathroom. So here I am in the front of this motor home and you'll notice that there's a nice big overcab here with a lot of headroom above it. This is one of the biggest headroom spaces I've ever seen. In fact, I mean, at its tallest point, it's about 36 inches tall. So you would never feel cramped sleeping up here, I'm pretty sure. Now the bed size up here looks to be uh, 54 inches and the width on it goes all the way across the RV. So it's eight feet wide. So lots and lots of sleeping space up here. Now, if you go to buy a sheet for your upper bunk, you'd have to special order your sheet. We had to do that in our class C as well because it's also 80 inches wide. Uh, you can't find those at a store anywhere. Um, I forget where you ordered it from, honey. Do you remember? No. It's been a while. I can't remember. But anyway, um, you just simply fold this piece over and then this becomes a big sleeping area. Now they also have a little bit of storage up front with some cargo netting. So you could tuck some clothes up and in there um, just for a little bit of additional storage. Down below in the driver's cab, one thing I want to point out is that since the dinette here is in a slide out, it clears the driver's chair so you can Pull the driver's chair back as far as you like and it won't run into the dinette, which is a great design. For you drivers that are taller with longer legs, I'm sure you'll really, really enjoy that feature. So here I am at the dinette, which is right behind the driver's chair. And you could pretty comfortably, I think, get four people around this table. Uh, the table also does drop down and create another bed in here. There's also a very large window. We have a lot of window glare, so we've got the shade down, but there's a nice big window over top of the dinette. I also want to point out that the dinette in this whole entire side of the RV is one big slide out. So it really does create a lot of floor space inside the RV. Now, if you were to convert the dinette into a bed, you would end up with a space that's about gosh, 76 inches by about 40 inches wide. 
So I would say one person, probably an adult, would be able to sleep here very, very comfortably for sure. Um, as we roll across from the dinette, that's where the kitchen area is located. Now, one thing I really like about the kitchen is that they have these really beautiful cabinets. They even have a glaze on them. It gives you a very high quality residential feel to the cabinetry in here. And as you can see, there's just tons and tons of storage space up top. Even over top of the microwave, there's additional storage up here, which is very deep. Your microwave oven is a really good size microwave oven. It's one of the larger ones that I've seen in a Class C RV. And then as we make our way down, we have a three burner cooktop here. Then you've got lots and lots of countertop space. You've got a tower of power right here, so you can plug in your coffee maker, toaster, you can even recharge your phone devices, things like that. And then you've got a double bowl sink in here with a gooseneck faucet overhead. Down below that, we've got lots of storage space underneath the kitchen sink, and we have a full bank of drawers to hold all of your kitchen utensils. And then finally, we have a real oven in here. For, so for those of you folks that like to bake things, cookies, pizzas, whatever, you got it made in the shade. So just past the range in the oven is where the refrigerator's located. And they've done a nice job in here too because they have cabinet panels mounted right onto the front of the refrigerator doors. Very nice touch. And when you open the fridge, you've got plenty of space inside. It's a rather large refrigerator. And then up top, you have a separate freezer area. Now, just past the refrigerator, you have a pantry cabinet with two shelves built in here, so plenty of room for all of your kitchen storage needs. Now, as we move past the kitchen area, we're gonna move into the living and bedroom area, and they're kind of two-in-one in this particular motorhome. First of all, you'll notice you have this nice, big, mirrored wardrobe cabinet. When you open it up, these shelves and cabinet space are deep. I mean, you've got 34 inches whoops, of depth in there, so you have a lot of storage room. You have shelves on the one side, a bar on top so you can hang garments on the other side. You also have a stowable uh, folding ladder in here also. And then down below that, you've got all your drawers for more of your clothes. So as we move further back into this coach, you'll notice that we have a really large TV mounted in here. How big is this thing? Call it a 50, 51 inch screen. That's a pretty big TV inside a Class C RV. And then down below that, you've got a nice fireplace here. You've got some open storage between the TV and the fireplace and even more storage, which is another huge cabinet above the TV. This is in a great location because it sits directly across from the couch, which also doubles as a Murphy bed. Now, if you're sitting on this couch, which is really very comfy, I have to say. It's very, very firm, but comfortable. You can sit here, perfect place for the TV, or when you put your Murphy bed down, we'll go ahead and show you that, but you can lay in bed and watch TV at night and have a fireplace going. Just a really cool setup. So you just need to move your cushions out of the way. And then they have a little electronic control here. Let me just put that down. It'll catch itself. It always worries me a little bit. <laughs> Well, you put this down and you have a nice bed set up. Now, one thing I want to point out, a lot, of a lot of Murphy beds have a fold somewhere in the mattress. This mattress actually is two, but where they have the fold, if you want to call it that, is all the way up here at the head of the bed. So it's not going to bother you when you're sleeping. You know, you're, it's not like it's at your midsection or you know, where you're gonna feel it while you're sleeping. You put your pillows here, you'll never know this fold exists. You've also got a window above, you've got lights above, um, and then even more storage overhead as well. On each side of the bed, there's also a little round charging station where you can plug in a USB or a C style cord to charge your electronic devices. There's also a receptacle on each side of the bed as well. Another really great feature is the additional storage right below the couch. So here I am in the bathroom, standing in the shower like I usually am. And this shower definitely is a little nicer than most that we've seen. Now, first of all, ceiling height in here. As you guys know, I'm 5'11", but there's a good amount of space over my head. In fact, there's 6 feet 9 inches of headroom inside the skylight inside the shower. Now, most of the time when we look at a shower, 
the distance from the back wall to where the shower door is is usually like 23 inches but in this case it's 29 so you get an extra six inches of width in here which really makes it feel nice and big and spacious it comes with a shower wand which is totally adjustable you can move it up and down it's got a little soap holder on here and then of course some corner shelves for shampoo and additional soaps also it's got a shower curtain but it's in a track so it's all controlled and neatly put away and it's not blowing in on you when you're taking a shower one final feature in the shower is a little hanging rod so you could actually hang a towel in here when you're not taking a shower to let it dry or if you had like a wet bathing suit and it was dripping you could hang it here and it'll just drip in the shower very very nice touch you can also remove the bar if you don't want it in here at all so now Susan's in the shower and I'm in the other part of the bathroom and this whole bathroom extends the full width of the coach so it's eight feet wide you'll notice here you've got a big gigantic double medicine cabinet for those of you that want to see Susan there she is and on the other side here it is there's one big shelf in here I really think they could have I don't know two or three shelves in here instead of just one and two but there's a lot of space in there that's for sure down below that you've got a vanity sink with a lot of countertop space there is a receptacle here at the end down below that you've got some storage underneath the sink and then some open storage next to that and then finally you have your linen closet here at the end with plenty of storage and a couple of drawers down below so here i am on the commode and this is like a barn style door and you could swing it closed, but either way, it's, it's not gonna pass the elbow test, but the bathroom is so big and roomy, I don't think you would feel cramped in here at all. This Class C RV is the Tiffin Wayfarer model number 25JW. It measures in at 25 feet, eight inches long. It has a tow capacity of 5,000 pounds and it can sleep up to four people. You enter this Class C motorhome from about the center of the coach and off to the right hand side is where the driver's cab and over cab are located. There's also a living area with sofa and entertainment center. Then we wrap on around to the kitchen area and the bathroom is behind me in the rear of this motorhome. So when I first walk into this motorhome, my first thought is, wow, this is pretty cool. It has a really nice look to it. Very luxurious fit and finish in here. There's also a decent amount of floor space because of the slide out. And there are some very unique features in here that we've never seen in a Class C RV before. Now, just off to my right here is where the over cab is. And this particular over cab, uh, gosh, it's almost as wide as the whole coach, but not quite. And it measures in at about seven feet, three inches by about 42 inches so i would really say only one person would be able to sleep up here in the over cab you might get two kids in there but there's no rail or anything that would be able to hold them in place keep them from falling out of bed at night something to think about if you're considering a class c rv that's for sure now the other big feature that i look for in a class c rv is the driver's seat and i like to make sure that it's unimpeded there's nothing behind it that's going to prevent the driver's seat from going back all the way to its fully extended position. And the reason that's important is if you're taller or you want to stretch your legs on a long drive and your seat can't go back all the way because maybe the dinette is blocking it, that could be a real problem. But in this RV, it's wide open, plenty of space, and you'll be nice and comfy driving down the road. So here I am sitting on the couch, which is located right behind the driver's seat, and we're in the living area of this RV. And uh, you'll notice that the couch on each end, it has cup holders, and it also has receptacles located here so that you can charge up your electronic devices while you're sitting on your couch. Now, in this particular motorhome, the couch also serves as a bed because this is a Murphy bed behind me. So we'll go ahead and lower that down and show you how that works. So I just removed the cushions from the sofa and this is as easy as the flick of a switch. There's a switch located right here on the side of the sofa. And you just push the lower button and it lowers right on down. Once your bed is down, you'll notice that there is a small fold, but it's all the way up underneath of where your pillow would be. So the nice thing about this mattress is that you don't have a fold like you'll find in many Murphy bed mattresses in the middle of the bed, which would make you very uncomfortable when you sleep. Now the size of this bed, let's see where we measure in, is 74 inches by 60 inches. 
So it would definitely be considered a short RV queen sized bed. Over top of the bed though, you'll notice that there are three really nice cabinets for additional storage. There are also a couple of reading lights overhead and a nice big window to get natural light in here. Or maybe when you're sleeping at night, you can look outside at the stars or something like that. Uh, as I mentioned before, there are receptacles on both sides. So if you need to charge your devices overnight, you can certainly do that as well. So we just put the Murphy bed back up and now we wanna show you the third purpose that this couch fills, and that is it's here for relaxing. It's also your Murphy bed, but this is also your dinette. And what they've done is they just have these two little tables that you can mount on the ends. They swing on into place and you can sit here and have your meal. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of these little tables that swing in and out. I would rather see, I think, a freestanding table that you could then move around inside your rig. You could use it outside. I think it just offers a little bit more versatility. Now, directly across from where the couch is, is where the entertainment center is. And it's also more than that. So we have a little more versatility built into this rig or multi-purpose use. Uh, starting from the top though, you do have this nice storage cabinet overhead, a good size window here. And then you have this big tabletop. Now you could use this as a tabletop, but really what it is, is it's where the TV is located and you just flip it right up. Perfect location for being able to sit on your couch or lay in bed at night or watch TV while you're eating a meal. And then the second thing that this piece of furniture can do is this bottom piece can slide right out and this becomes a desk. And I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but when we talked about the overcab, these are a couple of freestanding chairs that come with this unit and you would set those up here and then you would be able to have a little workstation or a desk area here. Underneath the desk area, you've got these two cabinet doors or four cabinet doors that open up with plenty of storage underneath. So here I am past the living and entertaining and sleeping and dining area of this RV and I'm in the kitchen area. And this is like a galley kind of kitchen, right? You've got countertop on one side and refrigerator and storage on the other. So a very efficient setup. Starting right here at the front of the kitchen, you'll first thing you'll notice is that you have a big round single bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet overhead and it has an integral sprayer as well. So that's a very nice feature. As we move a little further along, and I think I put that on upside down. Let's fix that. Uh, as we move a little further down, you'll notice that you have two electrical receptacles and two USB ports here. Perfect location. If you wanna set up a coffee machine or a toaster, you can plug them right in there. And then finally, we have an induction cooktop. Now, I'm a little surprised there's only one in here, but most units kind of only have one induction cooktop. Sometimes they'll have one induction and one propane. Um, I would like to see two burners in here. Uh, if you're cooking baked beans and sauerkraut, you might need two burners for that sort of thing. One of our favorite meals anyway. Um, up above that, you've got your microwave convection oven here. And then finally, a nice big storage cabinet. And this is an adjustable shelf that you can adjust at pretty much any height you would like from top to bottom. Now down below the countertop and under the kitchen sink, this cabinet opens and there's plenty of storage under there. Then you have this very nice pantry drawer that pantry drawer that slides out and you'll notice that the middle shelf is fully adjustable anywhere from top to bottom so you can organize all your dry goods however you'd like and then finally there are three drawers here for all of your kitchen utensils and if you need a little more countertop space this top drawer has an additional counter area now, right across from the kitchen counter area is where you will find the refrigerator. Above the refrigerator, there's a very nice size cabinet up here. It's two feet deep by almost two feet wide, fully adjustable shelf in the middle, so you can organize however you'd like. And then your refrigerator and separate freezer are very nice size for this RV. They're also what's known as a 12 volt refrigerator, which means that it will run on shore power or a battery. As we continue to move back, we have a very large pantry closet here, and this has adjustable shelves, both top and bottom, so you can organize however you'd like. And then finally, a wardrobe closet with a hanging bar and another shelf down below for even more storage. 
So here I am in the shower and uh, in the bathroom back here, which spans the whole entire width of the RV. So it's a very nice sized bathroom. As far as headroom in here goes, I'm gonna bet we have over seven feet. And there's a very good reason for that, which we'll show you in just a couple minutes. We have seven feet, three and a half inches of headroom in here. It's probably the most I've ever seen in a Class C RV by far. Uh, but the shower surround is a very nice, very high quality. It goes all the way to the ceiling, which is a nice feature. And then it has a very nice shower head and wand that you can remove to take a shower. It's got a little built-in soap dish here. You can store your so soap and shampoo there and another corner shelf here behind me. And finally, it has a retractable shower door, which is great because it takes up so little space it's very neat and it won't blow in on you like a shower curtain will. Now, the reason there's so much headroom in here is because there's virtually no step up into the shower. I've never seen a Class C RV like this before. Um, most of them have a minimum of a four to five inch step up. Some of them have as much as 12 to we've seen as high as 16 inches to step up and into your shower. So I give this shower super high marks, especially if you have like a bad knee and you can't, you know, step up and over things. Perfect solution to that problem. So here I am on the other side of the bathroom. Susan is new, now standing in the shower and shooting this way. You might even be able to see her in the mirror there. Hi, honey. <laughs> um, as you go through this bathroom up top, we have a couple of cabinets there with nice storage space, a towel ring, a lighted mirror, which is very, very nice, very elegant, a beautiful faucet here, and then a bowl on top of the countertop. Now, I don't know about you, but I think, and I'm sure Susan would agree, I would have water everywhere if I had this kind of setup. So I don't know, I don't know how they ever came into style. I guess they look neat. I don't know how well they function. Anyway, below that, you've got some sliding doors here for additional storage, and then there's open storage down below that. Now, I'm sitting on the commode in here, and we are going to pass the elbow test with flying colors. One last thing I forgot to mention, what the heck is this thing for? Well, I suppose for the brave at heart, it could be a bidet, but for most of us, it's just gonna be another way to clean your toilet. Now that you've checked out all three of these Class C's with Murphy beds, let us know in the comments down below which was your favorite and why. And in addition to that, why don't you go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you liked our video, and please, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. So if you want to see some more awesome class CRVs with Murphy beds, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.